So recently, Andrew House, the president of Sony Computer Entertainment, has admitted that their first party lineup for a PlayStation 4 in 2015 is pretty weak with both Uncharted and Ratchet and Clank reboot being pushed into next year. However, he did say that they will be pushing third party support this year. And one thing that I'm very excited about is a little game called No Man's Sky. That's why today I decided to go ahead and contribute to video game hype and make a top 5 facts and features video in No Man's Sky. But before we get into this, please keep in mind that this video is purely based on my opinion and that the numbering that each fact or feature is on the list does not directly reflect how much importance I place on that person that specific fact or feature except for the number one spot which is reserved for my absolute favorite thing about the game. So without further ado, let's get into this list. The entire world of No Man's Sky is procedurally generated. Basically, Hello Games is using mathematical equations to help the game to decide when and where and how something should be built. Now, you might ask if this game is supposed to be completely procedurally generated, including the soundtrack, then how is it also going to be a shared world where everything is the same, it's the same universe on everyone's copy of the game? The answer is actually simpler than you might think. Even though everyone has their own copy of the game, the world is still generated from the same seed. Which means that everyone's going to be using the same equations, same, the same math to generate the same things in the same locations at the same times that they would be in on anyone else's system. And that's because Quite frankly, 2 plus 2 is always going to equal 4, whether it be 64 years from now or 32 years in the past, even a million, it's 2 plus 2 will always equal 4. Now the seed that this world is actually generated from, or should I, I should say universe, is a very large number, 2 to the 64th power, which if googled or simply typed into a scientific calculator will give you a very very large number that I'd honestly rather not spend the time saying on this video. But what is the really important thing to know about this is that since it's such a large number, that means that the universe that it generates is also going to be very large. So much so that it would take you literally billions of years to discover everything the game had to offer, even if you spent a single second on every planet. According to Hello Games, this is pretty much your spaceship sci-fi fantasy of a game. You can do anything from being a traitor for whatever reason if you want to do that, or you can be a botanist or even a space pirate if you so wish. This sounds really cool, just think about the infinite playtime you can get from this game. You can play it for ages, you know, off and on, obviously you probably won't be playing this this be the only thing you play, especially if you really enjoy video games, you're going to play a wide selection of games, but this is something you can always come back to. Just imagine if you're bored of being an adventurous explorer who liberates solar systems from evil malevolent forces, you can go ahead and become a volcano diver. It's, it's crazy the amount of selection and customization and things that you can specialize in in this game, and you have an infinite world and you know you can do whatever you want there's no real urgency in this game unlike many other games that are not even close to being released we know relatively nothing about this game other than pretty much the things that I'm mentioning on this list and that actually is a good thing in my opinion because it takes me back to a time where I was younger and I wasn't you know looking on the internet and all these things about these games and everything wasn't just revealed to us 
right away. It gave you a chance to imagine what could be and what would be once you got your hands on that game and you got really excited. You know, a lot of the excitement comes from the journey, not the destination. So that is why I really like the fact that they're keeping this amount of secrecy because it really allows us to imagine what this game really is going to be. And it takes you back to the imagination you had when you were very young. Of course, this could all change with this upcoming E3 because most likely it will be at E3, which I'm excited to hear news about the game, but hopefully they don't go ahead and reveal too much, which I don't think they'll do. I think they still want a lot of the game to be a surprise and for a lot of the features to be discovered once you actually get into the game. Just as the game's size is virtually infinite, I see an infinite amount of potential for this game. This game could literally start at the beginning you know it, it starts off as this lone wolf exploration game where you're going and discovering new species new planets and things but eventually who knows what hello games final vision for this game is and if there even is a final vision it may change and you know become something completely different it could become a game where people can build space stations and interplanetary civilizations and things and form teams and all this crazy stuff and it can become a living breathing virtual universe <laughs> virtual but it'll, it'll still be pretty awesome to do all this it's like living in Star Wars or something I just see an infinite amount of potential for this game I don't know what their final vision is what hello games has in store for the future of this game but I'm very interested in finding out well this has been my top five features and facts about No Man's Sky. Let me know in the comment section what are your top five. Don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more content like this. Also, don't forget to follow the channel on Twitter because that's where I can keep you up to date the most reliably on uh, when I'm uploading a new video. As always, stay super and I'll see you in the next video.